Howdy. It's your host, Reese here. I'm here to show you the um, artwork uh, sculptures here in Nelson, BC. In fact, some new ones and some other ones that deserve honorable mentioning into this one. First things first, what are we basing it off of? I'll show you. We are basing it off the book right here. We got one, which is, I believe, is the carbon key. And where is that? Way over there. And over here, we get is the carbon key, just right here. I'm gonna take a, a good, uh, closer look up at it. Right there. Well, first things first, let's take a look at the sign. It reads, um, carbon key. It's like a coral. Um, wreath that looks like, like carbon. That's into a key. A key of what? The key of life. That's what this represents. The key of life. Give it up for the carbon key. This one here is new here in Alton, BC. So that we saw that, we'll go take a look at the next thing. And here is um, the other side of it. We saw the back side. Now here is the front side. Look at all the nice designs onto it. Wow, I like how the sun just shines right upon that. It looks almost like a sundial than a key. Or it could be um, the key of life to the sun that powers. The positive side of life. That could be the, the other meaning behind it too. Anyways, we'll carry on and uh, check out the um, other art sculptures that we have up here. And here we get is the um, bridgeway here that looks kind of nice and, uh, and um, artistic. Just how they got the, these wheels onto it. This is just on the way to our next location where, where we'll find some more um, sculptures. It's just right down there. First we'll take a look at the book and then we'll, we'll um, go and uh, check them out. Okay, so the next one here, so that we finished that one, we're going to go to one that's right here. That is a flower power. That's right there. And that's the one we're about to see. And here it is just right here. Flower power. There we go. I just had to show the uh, power sign. Now, I don't know where the um, plaque readout is. But this is it right here. But this is the uh, statue of flower, uh, flower power. Our next one we're going to do is so that we just saw that one. We're going to see this one next, which is the um, QR Carl, which is the one that we'll be seeing right over there. So walking down here, quickly. See my shoes. Walking. Right there. So this is the QR Carl, which is what this is. There is a sign right there. No can take a look at. Right there it says QR Carl. And that's just uh what you'll see right here. This two here is uh, one of the ones here. And then, so yeah, this is the QR Carl right here. Now we're gonna go on to our next one that's all two from here. I know it'll be in my uh, camera that shows in there. I'll kind of close the mini. So now our next one we'll get to is the 76 trombones, which is out of Cottonwood Falls. So I'll take it to this. Uh, 
sculpture right now. So here we are at Cottonwood Falls over here where our next um, sculpture is, which is the uh, 76 trombones. Um, walking through here first. And uh, it's just right here. We'll take a look at the um, plaque readout, if it can. Where is, so where's the sign? The rock. The rock? Oh, there's it here. So let's get to that sign first. 76 trombones, as it reads right there. Look way up. And right there. The 56 trombones way up in the sky. I'll take it a, a, a round look. I'm over here. Get a better look at it. I'll zoom in. So there's the 76 trombones way up in the sky. It'll come to my mind for a uh, trombone. More like the first trumpet. Might as well be the last. <laughs> I just had to. A little line inside there. But yeah, give it up for the 76 trombones. This one here is uh, in uh, Cottonwood Falls here in Austin, BC. Here we are on Baker Street. And here we're going to go to our next book. And here we're going to get to is uh, the. Ode to the Bees, which is what we will see just right here, and that's what we're going to see right over there. This is Ode to the Bees. It has like sunflowers and honeycombs. Like the like these like these are the honeycombs. Oh, we got a bird that flew in. Right there, got another b bird that flew in. More birds that fly in, right into the screen of you. So this right here is the uh, Oaks the Bees. This is found on Bigger Street, Nelson, BC, and we will locate where the uh, sign is. We look to the back here. And we'll try and find where the SDS sign is to this. I believe the sign is, yeah, right here. It says O to the B's, right there. And that's, uh, well, you'll see them over here. This is new here in the center part of Nelson, BC, on Baker Street. Okay, quick peek back at the book. We're gonna get down to see this one here, which is the intersection. Which is right here. What? Yeah, intersection is in a book, and that's the one we'll be seeing next coming up on this street here on Baker Street. Here is the sign right here. Intersection. Look up, and we got besides as the shoes. Who we'll put shoes onto to that? I have no clue. But we're gonna take a look. Around over here. I gotta walk over here. So we can see a little bit more close to here. This is intersection, which is what it's called. This is again is okay. Um uh Nelson Becker Street. And that's what you'll see does say right here. Intersection is a thing that's in the middle section of the uh, cube-like structure. Yeah. Are you to the back in the book, and here we get to this one here, which is called uh, Dancing Myself. This is what you see right there. And where is it exactly? Just right there. This is on Northern Baker Street. Into an out into the alleys here and over there, and it's just like uh, coming up over here, past Bigger Street, up to over here. And this one from some of these, so we look way up there, and then you'll get is the sign here that's a dancing uh, myself, which is what you'll see 
just right there. So we go up these stairs here to our next one, which is the one here, where it's just a buddy beach. So let's see these stairs, up right to it. Right here is Buddy Beach. Right here you can see we got it's like um a metal wire sculpture, which is the way it is. You can see down below what appears to be is they caught a fish. Because you can see that there's a net and there's a fish just under it. So right here is Buddy Beach. Um, sculpture that's found here in Nelson. So here's look, looking down, and it's just right there. Okay, so I uh, yeah, have some friends here. This corrected me that it's not Buddy Beats, it's actually Buddy Bents. Oh my goodness, seriously, it looks like I read that wrong. <laughs> LOL. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Oh, so yeah, it's actually Buddy Bench, which is uh, the one you see just right there that I'm pointing at. Okay, so here we're gonna get down is to here, which is the uh, to see, to say, and that's just the uh, from right here, where exactly it is coming down here. Down here by past the co-op access point coming down down here and it's right at the uh at the uh theater which is you see just up here and down here is the C to say which is just right there. You'll we'll take a look at the uh arito it says right there to see to say the plaque reads it and here is the sign uh, so here is like, the uh, the C right here, and then here is the, the looks like someone's talking. So to say, C to say, which is uh, we'll see here. This is actually um, the newest edition. We'll be seeing some other new ones here as well too. Anyways, let's keep on walking because we got some a very epic one coming up. Whereabouts? The Kootenai Co-op. A very epic one. This one here will definitely surprise everyone with this one. We'll check it out when we get out there. Reading out the book, we're gonna get two right over there. Here's the big guy here, the bigger guy to this, which is uh, Discover Our w Wild World. Seen just right here. Where is that? Or just right up there? That's where the, the co op is. And that's what you'll see right here. Here is the newest edition. We're gonna take a, a look around it. Like this. It has the wild side of life on it. And it has is the world. And up above, that's always up above, is a bird. Right there. The eagle takes the wind. And then this here is the stat. I wonder where the uh, readout is. Let's take a look. Readout is just here. It says discover a wild world right here. This was from Colin Castigar. And now miss way to over here. So that is it for this. Very epic. And again, this is new and it's just on Bicker Street heading to the the, the, the co-op. So in the book, we'll get to the Ark right here. Where is that? Right here on Baker Street. First we'll take a look up at the uh, right up uh, Ark, a place of refuge. And this was from Winlaw, and it's now here. So this is new. And here it is on Bacon Street. Go take a look at the Ark. Looks really, really nice. Right there. 
Yeah, I'll take a picture of the Ark. Get up here, the Ark. Sculpture. Newest edition. In, in the book, we get two, uh, I just hear, where is it, right there, that is, I live because everything else does, which is right there, and that's just right here, like, lay pads, with, um, what appears to be is, for, uh, like, sunlight fl flowers, we got, like, three, one, two, three, just right here, again, this is in the center of Baker Street, Nuxon, BC. Plaque for it is just right here. I live because everything else does. This is from here, can come? Rebel of Stoke. And as you can see, just right here. Our next one here is called The Seed, which is right there in, in the book. And I'm about to uh, get out so I can show you exactly where it is. Capital Adult Theater, here it is. It is just right here. Here is The Seed. As you can see here, and here is the readout. Right here it says, Seed, right here. And that is what you'll see just right here. Okay, so here we got is, uh, Joy of Life in Balance, seeing the book. I'm about to get down to show you. Here is the readout, it says, uh, Joy of Life in, in Balance. And look, way up here, we get is the dog that's, that's uh, pretty much ba balancing on one, like a, uh, a tear tartar like thing here. And that's the part of the balance as it reads there as it is over here. So this is the new sculpture that's now here in Austin, BC. Okay, so here we cannot find this one. It is a mystery dragon. It says it's in a book, but we can't find it. But here is a mystery one. Right there. I just wanted to pull that attention to you before we go on. Here we're gonna go down is to Lakeside, uh, Lakeside, and we'll uh, look for uh, the uh, the Red Raider and the, the one that says there. So we got two that we'll be getting into. First up, we're gonna go and uh, try and find Red Raider in the book, and we'll be there soon. We're just um, driving into where we need to be very quickly from here okay lakeside park right here and I'm gonna get to is that red raider I know exactly where that is and it's just uh, um, it's only gonna be on your like here your your, uh, um, your left side which is just uh, from over here within the grassy reeds. Just right here. Right down here. Look at the readout. It says Red Raider. This has been local and it's permanent here in Nelson, BC. And that's what you'll see just right here. The sculpture that's just right there. Red Raider happens to be is a fox. And guess what? We're there. <laughs> I'm actually saying that line because because we just finished that one there. Now we're gonna get to one up here, which just says. There, where's that? It's right over there. Pulling it right down over there. As as the Osprey statue, we get to over there. You might not be able to see it that well because the sun is kind of uh, shining on it, but we'll go up closely. Right there. Hope you can see it. It's pulling way over there. Ducking at the sun. Uh, where is it exactly? This right there. Even says it there on the readout. And this is what it looks like. This one here is a local and perm permanent here in Luxembourg, BC. Okay, Aquatic Center. 
And in the book, what's over here? It says, Man in Motion. Where is that? It's right in the back of me. So here, the Aquatic Center, right down there, what we're gonna go up to is the, uh, where the Nelson Lees are. Right up there. Um, we might shout out the way it reads Man in Motion. Seen it in the book. And then up here is the Man in Motion. I'll try to get my shot out of the way so you can see, you, 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 you can see it. There. And this right there. You see that it looks like, like the man is walking in motion, as you can tell by the ripples just right here. It's new. The newest addition to Nelson, BC. Okay, so I just got uh, dropped off here. Uh, so as it is, at the, for the uh, one in the book here, the, the dragon. Well, kind of doubting that because um, that one I seen in Castigar. So there is rumors that it's out in Tagum. But hopefully it makes its way over here. If not, then that's okay too. But the thing is that it's a, it's a mystery. Um, but yeah, so that right here now brings us to a close for this one. Uh, get to see the um, Nelson City and seeing the um, statues from the book that was uh, being held by one of my, of my friends there. And um, yeah, just uh, really happy taking uh, that time. So, anyways, before we uh, um, I end this off, I wanted to um, is, is say a few words in regards to our tricks videos. Okay, so for the uh, love uh, side, the Valentine's one will still happen. I'll be uh, getting the uh, the uh, prep or the prep work um, for that. And, um, from there, quickly, we'll get to the, uh, family time stuff, and get ready for St. Patrick's. So, I got my work uh, cut out for me. Um, we'll get this done quickly, and, uh, we'll get on to our next, um, video, uh, videos from there. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, just bring this to a wrap. I'm here again, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give, you, uh, give this one a like. And if you're new, don't forget to uh, get yourself subscribed to my channel as well too. Anyways, I'll see you back um, for more cool video content. I'm your silly Reese. Peace. Now we're gonna end off with the sun that shines over the mountains. The houses are.